Welcome to Milak Online Tutorial. Before us, uh, is this uh, wire question in uh, Elastic 16? And we are told that what is the length of the spring if the weight is 2 Newton? Now, assuming Hooke's law is obeyed, and here a spring, a surplus spring rather, balance is 25.0 centimeter long when 5 Newton when, when 5 Newton hangs on it and 30.0 cm when the weight is 10 Newton okay and we are told to find the length of the spring if the weight is 2 Newton alright now at this point first of all let us recall that F equals to the product of the elasticity constant and extension alright and let us so recall that extension in itself is the new length, uh, let me make it as L, the minus the original length. Okay? Now, but from the question, we are not giving the original length, right? So, let us now look at this. That the first, now there is an extension of 25 meter when uh, 5 Newton is hung, which means that the extension for the first one equals 25 minus the original length okay because for us to get the uh, uh extension it implies that the new length which is uh this minus the original length and the original length is not given now the second part of the sentence says that 30 newton when weight is 10 i mean 30 centimeter when a weight of 10 newton is armed on it so the extension of the second one will now be 30 minus the original length. And take note that a force of 1 is given as what? 5 Newton. And the second force that causes this extension is 10 Newton. Okay. Now we can now employ uh, the rule F1 all over E1 equals F2 all over E2 okay and this is actually gotten from this equation since the spring being used for all this experiment is the same throughout definitely to have the same uh, elasticity constant and if it has elasticity constant then it makes the whole uh, ex experiment more of a uh, uh, ratio and a proportion in such that whatever that causes one to extend will also extend to the other uh, force all right and as point and i'm sorry and as that we arrive at uh, this equation so for f1 here we have five newton now but before that before that i want us to change this the unit of uh, 35 to meter so for e1 it becomes uh, 0 0.1225 meter okay and uh, that will be minus uh, l then e2 will now be 0 0.30 minus l so and that's what we'll be plugging in here now for e1 0 0.25 minus L then equals 10 all over uh, 0 0.30 minus L so let us cross multiply by cross multiplying 5 multiplied through by the denominator on the right hand side and we, here we have uh, 5 times uh, 0 0.30 will give us 1.5 then minus 5L then equals 10 multiplied by the denominator on the left hand side becomes a 2.5 then minus 10L. Now let us uh, collect like terms and by collecting like terms here um, we have that 10L minus 5L then equals 2.5 minus 1.5 and this will give us 5L and equals to uh, this will give us uh, 
1.0 okay now our l divided by 5 then our l now will give us a 0 0.2 meter which is 20 centimeter okay all right so uh now that we've gotten the original original uh length now let us now look for the elasticity uh elasticity constant okay and that one will help us calculate for the length when two newton is applied so we we'll still come back to f equals to k e okay and um, using the first one using the first one here uh here we can see here that our force here is five then equals now by the extension here extension here we can now see for e1 that will be 0 0.25 then minus 0 0.2 and this will give us a 0 0.05 okay that is the extension meter so here we come here we have k then into 0 0.05 uh, okay now dividing both sides by 0 0.05 0 0.05 then k here will then uh, give us uh, let me see by calculator 5 divided by 0 0.05 that will be 100 newton per meter all right to this point here now and i'll come again by saying that f equals to k e okay now we have we need to look for the extension first before we know the length to which the spring extends to now our force here is 2 newton then of course our elastic constant is 100 e now I divide both sides so our e will now give be 2 all over 100 which will give us 0 0.02 meter okay now uh the length now take note that the original length here is uh, 0 0.02 okay 0 0.02 and uh, so the length of the the length of the spring when two newton is now added now will now be the original length uh plus extension and the original length is 0 0.2 now point zero point zero two meter okay yeah so here we have 0 0.22 meter okay so now that is the final answer and if you love what i've just done can you subscribe to my youtube channel and ensure you click on the description button to be notified of all my videos in fees and mathematics thank you and god bless you